Alrighty, Rue. Love them knives channel. You know that you know the drill, right? But we're talking cold steel today. Cold steel limited edition. You know what? Anytime, anywhere. I would love to have this <laughs> with me. Holy crap! That was it. Oh, see? But I had to watch it because I got the camera right above it and this and that. So I can't do the mayhem the way I want to do the mayhem. Okay? Okay? And that is some crazy happy little stuff, right? 545, which is probably the number because these are a limited edition. This is the launch edition of the Mayhem in S35 Vienna Sky, the red and the black G10, all that kind of stuff. Well, my buddy up in uh, Jacksonville, Florida area was showing this. And I thought, did he? I didn't know it was a cold steel or anything like that. I mean, he had kind of a picture of the knife, but it wasn't really all the way in focus, and he didn't show the box or whatever, and it didn't say cold steel on the front. I wasn't sure. And so I go, what is that? Is that some crazy freaking knife from, like, he got on Amazon that he's just, like, doing some mods on or something? Because he does. He'll, he, he's kind of making his own scales and doing different things. And so... No, and I, I I messaged him, and he goes, no, that's the mayhem, and then I go, oh, crap, yeah, I mean, I didn't know it was out yet, but it was, okay, and I go, where'd you get it, and I shouldn't even ask him, because he goes, USA, you know, Midway, USA, duh, Midway, USA, Midway, USA, remember this name if you're buying cold steel, cold steel and they have a lot of their cold steel knives on sale as well okay but here it is the launch edition they're calling it the limited edition if you go on the cold steel website then they call it the launch edition s35 vn g10 black red okay okay is this supposed to be 500 bucks but you save you save 240 dollars oh my god it's 48 percent off Okay, so 259 But uh, the thing is, I was looking around, and I couldn't get the launch edition from anywhere else. And I'm thinking, well, why? I'm, you know, because I was thinking, is it cheaper somewhere else, blah, blah, blah. But no, $259.99. Good deal, Lucille. Okay, black, red, handle, blah, blah, blah. Clip point. Okay. But is it tactical? I I'm thinking, yeah. Blade length, six inches, yeah. What is the overall, what are they saying the overall is? Oh, they don't even want to know. They don't even want to, they don't want to let you know, but we will measure it up. Taiwan, thumb stud, yes, 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 black, red, gold. Okay, so here's the point I wanted to make, right? Because they're make. I mean, there's one coming out, and I, I see on Blade HQ it's not out yet, or it's already sold out and waiting for restock, or whatever, is the Mayhem, okay? in os 10a now it doesn't have the red it's got the gray okay this and this okay 249 hold on 259 for this limited edition with s35 or ten dollars le less and you can get uh and it'll be back in style really soon okay and and it'll be like ten dollars Ten dollars. So this is three forty nine, and this was four ninety nine. So this was supposedly a hundred and fifty higher to begin with, but they're basically the same price. So I'm definitely getting the limited edition for ten dollars more. Okay, and it is a lovely, lovely thing, and we got all kinds of light flashing all over the damn place. And where is my? Uh, Where's my tape measure go to? You can just, you know what? You can never find things when you're looking for them. They hide. Okay, yeah, six inch blade all day long. 13 and a quarter inches overall length at, oh crap, 33 uh, centimeters or 33 and a half centimeters or even a little bit longer than that, but 
six inch blade is 15, 15 centimeters, a little over 15 centimeters long. And I guess if we take our caliper, we could figure out how thick this thing is, which is 13.8, actually not that bad, 0.54 as far as thickness. Eh, wow, I'm surprised this is not like 15 or 0.15 of an inch. It's 3.7. I'm surprised it's not a full four millimeter on the blade, but it's not 3.7. Okay, so if you were a person that might be interested to see if this will actually cut something, you know, it's got the typical, come here, unbend yourself, would you? Typical cold steel, super ass, scary sharp edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's a lot of hoss. That's a lot of hoss, my friends. And I'm sure, I think the other day I weighed it. I think it was like 1.9 ounces. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit, it's only 371 grams. That's nothing. Is that keychain? That's keychain, isn't it? Oh, God, 13 ounces. Okay, it's 13 ounces again. All righty, Aru. Yeah, it is. It's all of that. And uh, wow. And the Atlas, Atlas lock. Woo! That's shiny blade, too, isn't it? <sighs> Atlas lock. We love it. All right. We just we just can't avoid getting the light to just glare off of it. Cold steel. Cold steel. Made in Taiwan. The mayhem. It's a dog. It's a big-ass dog. And if you were going to take it apart... I guess you'd start here, and these are all going through here because this is all part of the Atlas lock right here. Um, ergos are a beautiful thing. Okay, so what do you think about the mayhem? Is it ridiculous? I don't think it is. I think, I. you know what, I like the design of the knife. I like it. I love the clip point blade. Uh, I like the lines on it. I like the thumb studs. I like the Atlas lock. Uh, blade to handle length is great. Uh, design flow is nice. You know, I've got a Talwar XL. I mean, so this is, this is, I mean, if you're into cold steel and you're, you know, you, you like these pocket swords, then this is all up. For you right here this is this is like the ultimate as far as i'm concerned i mean this i'd prefer to my talwar okay and uh it's easier if you just uh un undo the uh, axis lock by pulling it back and then kick it out but you can just like that so you just need to give yourself a little space because you need to get away from like the camera stand and things like that okay but uh, love it. Uh, the ergos are really good. And of course, you know, I mean, it's a hand and a half knife. It's just crazy big. Uh, and it's way too heavy and it's crazy to even think about carrying. Uh, but crazy might be good. You know, I mean, you could actually carry this or you could put it in a pack or whatever, uh, pocket clip left or right hand. Okay. Uh, lanyard hole. Uh, I, I like the fit and finish. I like the look of the knife. Here's the box it comes in. Okay. And that's what it says on that end. That's what it says on this end. And yes, 545 is the number on that was on the blades, launch edition, etc. etc. Here's this information. Okay, launch edition, 13.1 ounces. They are correct, okay? So, uh, woo! And inside, it looks like metal. I don't think that's metal. Maybe it is. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's kind of a, just a silvery coated cardboard type thing. Okay. Um, and here's this. And then there's your pocket clip for the other side. Makes sense right there. Okay. But you know what? Why would I get the OS 10 a for $10 difference? Why wouldn't you get the launch edition? And you know what? The launch edition has been out for a month and a half or two months and they haven't even sold out yet on USA which is uh, on Midway USA which is really interesting that they haven't I don't consider this knife to be overly priced considering what you're getting I mean it's crazy it's sharp it's big it's got super steel that's a lot of that's a lot of S35 VN they're numbered. I think they'll I think they'll hold up as a good little collectible too. And then the Atlas lock is wonderful. You got this full on backspacer that goes on forever and of course you got this layered G10 which I think is great as well. Um so no, I'm I'm all in for this knife right here. And ooh, you might want to get way up on that to move that thumb stud. You know, get right up on it. Now you can do it. And uh, kick that open or just use the Atlas lock like that to kick it open and close. And it's amazing how one-handed you can handle a knife this heavy uh, and this big and awkward but you can do it with uh, pretty good ease, actually. So it's pretty fidget friendly in that regard. You're going to probably get some attention by some people if you go carry this into different venues. Because it's just like that. But it would be interesting to watch some cutting demos that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do, but to see, you know, somebody, you know, cut the top off of their, you know, plastic water bottle, whoosh, go right through them. Whoosh. I mean, because that, that is a sharp ass edge right there. Um, that's a good looking knife. Just saying. Okay. I just wanted to give you a little walk around. I don't really have a lot of desire to pull the Atlas lock apart. Obviously, there's a spring in here. Um, you'd have to pop this off. And with this long backspacer, I'd probably get my plastic fid things to pop the things off and then to put it all back together. Nah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Cold Steel. Mayhem. Launch edition, limited edition. I like it. I do. Maybe you don't. That's fine. I've got practical knives all over the place. This one, this is a hell of a lot of fun. You guys, thanks for hanging out and stay sharp.